So here are the results after testing both Plexity and Frost Strap with the best fast flag settings applied. In this video, we're putting Plexity and Frost Strap head to head to see which one gives better FPS, smoother gameplay, and lower ping in Roblox after the latest patch. So you'll know exactly which one performs better for your PC. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Clear temp files from PC to boost speed and FPS. In this video, I'm first going to show you how to clean out all your temporary and cached files. To start, go to your desktop and press Windows plus R on your keyboard. This will open a small window called Run. Inside the box, type percent, temp percent, and then press Enter. You'll see a folder appear full of random files and folders. These are all temporary files that apps and games have left behind. Click anywhere inside the folder and press Ctrl plus A to select everything. Once everything is highlighted, press Delete. Some files might say they're in use. That's normal. Just click Skip for those and continue deleting the rest. Next, press Windows plus R again, type temp, without the percent signs, and hit Enter. This will open another temporary folder that stores system-level temp files. Select all of them with Ctrl plus A and delete them as well. Finally, open Run one last time, type Prefetch, and press Enter. You may see a small warning pop-up. Just click Continue. Now press Ctrl plus A again to select everything inside, then hit Delete. Once done, empty your recycle bin to finish the cleanup. This step alone helps remove gigabytes of junk files, freeing up storage space and reducing background load. Step 2. Use Plexity and Fast Flags to optimize Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now let's move on to Plexity, one of the more popular Roblox launchers designed to boost FPS and reduce lag using custom Fast Flags. However, after the new update, I noticed that while Plexity improves FPS, Froststrap still manages to push the results even higher. We'll get to that soon. To set it up, download and install Plexity from your FPS Boost Pack. Once installed, search for Plexity in the Windows search bar and open it. You'll first see a setup screen where you can choose between light mode or dark mode. Pick whichever you prefer. After setup, look for the Roblox Priority section. This controls how much CPU power Roblox gets. If you're using a low-end PC, set the priority to high, which gives Roblox more CPU power for smoother gameplay. If you often run other background apps like Discord or OBS, you can keep it at normal for balance. Inside Plexity, enable these key options one by one. Clean Roblox temp files, removes leftover cache data that slows down Roblox. Clean Roblox logs, deletes old logs that keep building up every time you play. Enable multi-threaded rendering, makes Roblox use all CPU cores to improve frame rates. Allow cross-game teleportation limit, speeds up loading when you switch games. Next, move to the Fast Flags section, which is the most important part for performance. Turn on Refresh Rate Unlock, so Roblox matches your monitor's refresh rate. E.g., 144 Hz equals 144 frames per second. Then enable Use Max Frame Rate, which removes Roblox's default FPS cap. Set Texture Quality to Low for weaker PCs and Render Mode to DirectX for the best results on Windows. If you go into Plugins and Tweaks, you'll find extra tools like Server Ping Info and Small Optimizations. Finally, open your Fast Flags preset from your FPS Boost Pack, copy everything, and paste it into Plexity's Editor Settings, then save. Once done, launch Roblox directly from Plexity. You'll notice smoother frames, reduced stuttering, and slightly faster loading times. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 3. Use Froststrap and Fast Flags to boost Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we're moving on to the real game changer, Froststrap. 
It's the new and improved Roblox launcher that performs even better than Plexity after the recent Roblox update. Frost Strap helps you get more FPS, lower ping, and smoother gameplay. It works great on both low-end and high-end PCs. Start by downloading the Frost Strap launcher from your FPS Boost Pack or from the official site linked in the description. After installing, go to the Windows search bar, type Frost Strap, and open it. Once it's open, click on Configure Settings. First, open the Integrations tab. Turn on Enable Activity Tracking. This helps Frost Strap track how Roblox runs on your PC and makes small performance optimizations automatically. Next, switch on Query Server Location. This shows which Roblox server you're connected to, helping you see if your ping is high or low. Turn on Playtime Counter, so Frost Strap can manage memory better during long play sessions. Lastly, enable Game History Menu. This lets you quickly rejoin your recently played games straight from Frost Strap without opening Roblox manually. Next, go to the Bootstrapper tab. This section helps you clean old files so Roblox loads faster and runs smoother. Set file deletion schedule to after two months. This keeps your system clean automatically without deleting useful data too often. Turn on cache to remove leftover Roblox cache files that can slow down performance. Then turn on logs move, which moves old log files out of the main folder to free up space. Finally, enable frost strap logs. This deletes extra launcher logs so Roblox starts up faster every time. Now head to the mods tab. This lets you change some visual features without lowering FPS. Turn off. Use old avatar editor background. The new one is faster and lighter. Disable emulate old character mimes. The old sounds can sometimes cause lag. Keep mouse cursor set to default. Custom ones can slightly affect performance. Lastly, keep preferred emoji type on default to emoji. It's the most optimized and uses less memory. Now, this is the most important part, the fast flag settings. Set anti-aliasing quality RMAA to 2x. It makes the edges smooth while keeping good FPS. Turn on pause weather. This removes weather effects like rain or fog, which can cause small lag spikes. Enable gray sky. It replaces detailed skies with a simple one that gives a nice FPS boost. Turn on. Disable grass. Grass effects can really hurt FPS, especially on low-end PCS. Enable low poly meshes. This makes game objects simpler, giving you a big boost in FPS, especially in big games. Finally, set rendering mode to Vulkan. It gives the best frame times and smoother gameplay on most PCs. Finally, go to the Appearance tab to set how Frost Strap looks. Set App Theme to Dark. It looks nice and slightly reduces GPU usage. For window backdrop, choose Mica. It adds a smooth Windows 11 style background without affecting performance. Keep custom app font as default unless you want to change it for style. And make sure language is set to English United States for full compatibility with Roblox and plugins. Now, open the Fast Flags Editor tab. Click I Know What I'm Doing, then choose Add New. Open your FPS Boost Pack, find the Fast Flags text file, copy everything, and paste it into Frost Strap. Click OK to save the settings. After testing both launchers, Frost Strap clearly performs better than Plexity. My FPS jumped from around 120 with Plexity to over 560 plus using Frost Strap, and the gameplay felt smoother, with less lag and more consistent frame pacing, even after the new Roblox patch. Step 4. Use Throttle Stop to improve CPU speed while gaming. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Sometimes Windows automatically slows down your CPU to save power, which is not good for Roblox or any game. To prevent that, we'll use a program called Throttle Stop to keep your CPU at maximum performance while staying stable. Open your FPS Boost Pack, find the Throttle Stop folder, and double-click the app to launch it. You'll see modes like Performance, Game, Internet, and Battery. Choose Game Mode for Gaming, and tick the box High Performance to make sure your CPU always runs at full speed. There are advanced settings like Clock Mode and Speed Shift. If you're not familiar, just leave them as they are. Check the box Disable Turbo to avoid overheating while still maintaining solid power. When you're ready, click Turn On, then Save, so these settings stay active every time you open your PC. Keep Throttle Stop running in the background when playing Roblox. This keeps your CPU from throttling down and gives you consistent FPS throughout long gaming sessions, especially in high-player servers. Step 5. Use MSI Utility to improve communication between hardware. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU and GPU must work together quickly to keep your game smooth. If they lag in communication, you'll see frame stutters and input delay. To fix this, we'll use a small tool called MSI Utility V3 to prioritize your GPU's signal handling. 
Open MSI Utility V3 from your FPS Boost Pack. You'll see a list of devices connected to your system. Find your GPU like NVIDIA, Age EMD Radeon, or Intel Graphics. Check the box under MSI for your GPU, then change Interrupt Priority to High. Once done, click Apply and close the program. This small tweak helps your GPU respond faster to game data, reducing stutters, lag spikes, and input delay. It's one of the most effective hidden tweaks for smoother Roblox performance. Step 6. Speed up Windows Startup by disabling extra apps. Press Control plus Shift plus Escape. To open Task Manager, then click the Startup tab. Here you'll see a list of all apps that start automatically when your PC turns on. Look for ones you don't need, like Discord Auto Launch, Spotify, or Adobe Updater. Right-click each unnecessary app and choose Disable. This makes your PC boot faster, use less memory, and keep your CPU focused on Roblox instead of background junk. Combined with Frost Strap, this gives you the smoothest gameplay possible after the update. Once you've done all these steps, restart your computer so all changes take effect. Then open Roblox, hop into a few of your favorite games, and test the difference. You'll notice faster loading, higher FPS, and lower ping, especially if you're using Frost Strap instead of Plexity.